So I think the general consensus around intelligent individuals in the TCG community and the finance community is that this was MetaZoo was always a scam. Rudy was always promoting said scam. And now he's got a question. He's got a lot of questions to ask because now that he's promoted this scam and obviously it's gone to zero or very close to zero. I mean, I don't think anyone is super optimistic about the health of this game. Then the question we would ask is, why did he promote it? Why did he keep promoting it? At what point in time did he know that this wasn't going to work? And so on. Now, first and foremost, let me just, you know, say this. People are sometimes very naive. But when you mess with somebody's money, that's messing with their livelihood. That's messing with their family. That's messing with a lot of things that you may not want to mess with, Rudy Chan. I get a lot of emails and they are filled to the brim with people who are not happy about their MetaZoo investments or their Round the Recovery Master Invest. They're not happy. You know, uh, many of these people are his patrons or his former patrons who bought into a product that he hyped and tried to sell it back to him. And some of this product he just flat out refuses to buy for any price. Again, for any price, he will not buy your product. That should be a very big red, red flag um, that the product he did sell you was not a product that you should want to buy because, again, he doesn't even, the guy selling the product does not even want to buy the product. So, there you go. Um, I think a lot of people are waking up to the fact that Rudy has rug pulled them, to the fact that, I mean, look at this card game. It has so many Rudy promos. Every set had at least one Rudy promo, and the final great push was the Rudy Crown Eater, his uh, significant other. I don't know if that's his wife or his significant other. I don't know if he's married. Um, and then his child. That was the last time... MetaZoo had a card. That was probably the last MetaZoo card ever created. Was a card that he, him, his child, and his wife drew. And then sold to Patreons over and over again. Um, at, at some point in time, people will get wise. At some point in time, people are going to wake up and realize they've been scammed. And one thing I, you know, I highly recommend you not do is mess with another man's money, man's livelihood. $8,200, like I said, uh, my girlfriend and I, we just had a great dinner at Longhorn. It was $80, long, just great dinner, and we had to take home to eat the next day. That's equivalent to at least $100. So $8,200, which is the MetaZoo Nightfall kit is equivalent to people eating out every Saturday and Sunday for a whole year, one whole year, two people at a nicer restaurant, at a Longhorns or a Taste of Texas or a Outback Steakhouse at a Red Lobster, right? There's a plenty of restaurants that for two people, they can spend about $80, everything included, and then you get leftovers, and that's like another lunch for you and your significant other. The fact that $8,200 was spent on Meta Zoo cards, and not even that many of them, we are literally talking about five booster boxes here, is it, it should never have happened. It should never have happened. And the reason it should never have happened because money, money is valuable. Money is valuable. And $8,200 is life-changing money. It is. 
and people did lose money in this game. Make no doubts about this. People lost money on this game. They did. They did. Absolutely. And that money that they lost could have been used to improve their life, improve the life of a loved one, or God forbid, maybe you just donated to charity. People lost millions with an M, tens of millions of dollars in this game. And most people would not have even known about this game unless Alpha Investments promoted it. You, that's what you read in every comment is I didn't know about the game until Alpha Investments made videos about it. If that doesn't tell you everything you need to know, I don't know what else can tell you. That these people would not have met, bought, they wouldn't have even known about MetaZoo if Alpha Investments had not promoted it so heavily on his channel over and over and over again. This is very sad. And I think um, in terms of responsibility, he has to take responsibility. A lot of people, oh, he doesn't. I think if he's smart, he will take responsibility for it because eventually people are going to not trust his advice eventually people are going to get sick and tired of him selling out whatever is on clearance. Eventually, people are going to wake up and realize that their bank account is much lighter because their financial advisor, Rudy Chan, has stolen their money. Like, guys, like this is a very, very terrible and horrific thing that's happening. It truly is. I don't think people really understand how life-changing this type of money is. I think they have no idea. I think the reason that many people, many of Rudy's subscribers are having difficulty today, and they email me all the time, they had to sell their collections for pennies on the dollar, is because of Alpha Investments. And... It's crazy, right? They spend their hard-earned money to buy MetaZoo. Then they are so poor, they have to sell their reserve list to him for one cent on the dollar. They know they're being taken advantage of. And that's not good for Rudy Chan. 